guys today. <sighs> um, as you can see, I just finished just a small workout. I'm, I got to take it slow because I've been gone for a while. Um, and I would have pushed myself more, but I don't know. The energy wasn't right in there. Um, no, it was just something off. Nobody did anything. Nobody said anything out of the way or anything like that. Just, I don't know. It felt weird. So I couldn't concentrate. Um, but I feel good with what little bit that I did do. And I will definitely be going back and try to get back on my regular schedule that I had, which was um, to go in every Friday morning. So, and that may be it too, because normally I don't get there until nine o'clock uh, when I was going. And it is eight o'clock right now. So that may be that may be what it is so I have to probably have to get my body back on that schedule on this new schedule so but I'm on my way home I'm going to take a shower and I got some cleaning I need to do around the house and then when I finish that I plan on doing a makeup video I know you guys don't want to see those but hopefully you will watch them anyway because I love makeup. I really do. So be on the lookout for that. And yeah, we just gonna rock out today. Just chill out. So don't know what the other part of this vlog is going to entail. So we'll find out together okay all right i'll see y'all in a little bit in a little bit in a little bit throughout history in every culture grandparents are the people who step in when the parents need help or support but what happens when the parent steps out leaving the full responsibility on the grandparent i'm here for my daughter I have five of her kids. I'm having a hard time with her not being a mom and putting her responsibility off on me. This is a story about a daughter who gave birth to six children fathered by five different men, but she has no idea how to be a mother. This has been a hurtful 10 years, fighting back and forth with my mom. It's really tearing my family apart and it's affecting my kids. Kids without a mother or a father, like, it just, it's not This is a story of a family struggling to stay afloat with six innocent lives at stake. This is a story about what happens when the grandparent becomes the parent. So that clip that I just showed you of Miss V's episode on when grandparents <laughs> become parents and it's so funny because that's going to be the title of my of my story I, I don't know and it came to me this is the first time I saw this. I recorded it. And um, this is the first time I'm seeing this. So for that, for her to say that is, it's like confirmation of everything that God has um, been putting on my heart. And I can remember years ago, I wanted to... And I actually started writing my my life, my biography, 
of everything that I had gone through at that point in time in my life. And my my hard drive crashed and I never had the time to, you know, re rewrite everything. And now I find myself in a similar situation as as this mother and as many other mothers and grandparents out out here. I consider you guys my family and with my biological family we have always been one and and many African American families are like this where whatever happens in the household stays in in the household and I just I want to break that at the same time when I tell my story of what I'm going through right now I want to protect my daughter as as much as I can and I know the internet can be such a cruel place which is why it's so and it's taken me so long to to talk about this because I want to protect her and I want to protect my my grandbabies so I'm, I have to do this in God's time I don't want to do this in my time I don't want to do it in anybody else's time except for his because then I know it is the right time to talk about it I don't know if I'm gonna come to you and talk about it before I put this down in writing because I keep getting um, to do to to just write it to just put it in a book and like when this stuff first jumped off I wanted to reach out to, to um, Tyler Perry and I would love because I'm telling you guys everything that I've been through I look back on it and I'm like well how the heck did I do that how and it was only by God you know So I'm just trying to let let everything unfold the way that God wants it to unfold. So that's as much as I can kind of release to you right now. Um, little bits and pieces, of course, will come to you because I'm doing vlogs. So a lot of it you will see um, and you can kind of put two and two together. Um, oh boy, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and finish watching this. Um, wow. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish watching this and clean the house as I'm doing it. So I'll be listening more than I'm watching. Um, because I got a lot of stuff I need to take care of. It's 9 o'clock. It's 8.56 right now in the morning. So I want to get as much done as I possibly can. So um, while I'm doing my cleaning, I'll, you know, be vlogging as well. So you guys will be able to see what I'm doing. <sighs> my kitchen is not that big of a mess, but it is. You know, I got... I keep my Ziploc bag so those are over there drying. I got <laughs> my makeup brushes over there soaking. Dinner that I want to cook for today is out. So I, I got to get that together and then I got to get uh, clean my bathroom. And y'all, I'm telling you, with a little boy, you would think that there are three grown men in this house I have to clean that bathroom every other day I mean because if I don't it smells like a gas station urinal 
Like, seriously? This little five-year-old kid really <laughs> is crazy. But, yeah, I got to clean that. And um, that's basically it. So that will probably end the, the vlog once I'm done um, with the cleaning. And then I'll come back and talk to y'all some more. Right? So, yeah, um, just stay tuned for everything. And just know that this is, it's hard for me to talk about uh, for the reasons that I said before. So, yeah, guys, just hang in there with me, okay? All right, I love you, and I will see you soon.
What's up, guys? So, um, yes, I'm all done up in things over here, okay? So, I did the makeup look, right? It was supposed to be nice and simple, but you see what we're looking like right now. Ain't nothing simple about this. But I think it's pretty. So, I'm cooking. Right? I'm getting the cook on. Chicken. I'm cooking some. Well. Cooking some corn. So yeah, that's what what we're doing right now and watching the tizzle over here. Here's AJ's room. You see, you got toys everywhere. Alright, don't run in the living room. Come on from out of there. <laughs> yeah, so he's a nut bucket. <laughs> Boy, y'all, I'll tell you what. 75. 50? Actually, Devil tried to stir up some stuff today. Within this family, he tried, but I wouldn't let him, I would not give him the victory. No, ma'am, no, sir, I would not give him the victory. And I just finished talking to y'all about it earlier today. So, of course, it's with his mama. She tried it today, honey. And I I was not feeding into it. And it was right when I was doing my uh my video for this look. And I almost vexed my spirit. I said, oh no, no, no. No, we're not gonna do that. So I asked God, tell me what to say. And he told me exactly what to say to her. And, of course, you know, it started with the phone call. And then, you ain't going to disrespect me. You ain't going to talk to me any kind of way. So I hung up. I did. I did. <laughs> and then the text started. And she, she does things to get under my skin. Because she know that some things we went through when they were younger. I, I worked three full-time jobs, so I was not at home. And so, you know, she tried to use that against me. And, oh, girl, okay, just no. Y'all, I said, nope, not today, ma'am. Not today. And every time she tried to make me get ugly, uh-uh. Nope. I'm going to give you nothing but love, pumpkin. Nothing but love from over here. Okay? Because she hurting. And when people hurting, they will lash out at the person that they love the most. And I happen to be the person that she loves the most, even though she'd say, I hate you. That's okay. I can take that. At one point, I couldn't take it. I couldn't take the fact of my kids telling me that they hated me. I couldn't take it. But it's okay now. Because, you know, I'm the person that is closest to her. To them. So, it's alright. I can't do nothing but pray for her. And leave her in the hands of the Lord. 
because if I I can't fix her inside just like I went through stuff and like I told her I said I went through stuff too when I was young but I had to give that over to God because it was eating me up inside I couldn't be successful I couldn't see the forest for over the trees I couldn't you know I'm not saying my life is is where I want it to be right now but I'm in a much better space you know what I mean um, I can pay my bills comfortably things ain't getting cut off like they was when I was raising my kids and that's why I asked them my because I got two girls and a boy for those that don't know and I begged my girls I said please do not get pregnant because it's too hard to be a single parent out here it's too hard and and both of them made it through um, high school my daughter uh, my oldest girl she she got married first and you know started her career in the uh, Navy and then went on to school she had her children and you know, my son, he's having difficulties. His dad passed away. You know, my my baby girl, she having a hard time. And and they want to lay it all at my doorstep. And I'm okay with that. Do what you need to do. If you need to blame me to get your life where you want it to be, go ahead and do that. trying to find somewhere to set y'all up so I could talk and cook too. But yeah, I told her, do whatever you need to do to get yourself together. If it is to lash out at me, go ahead. Do what you need to do. Y'all, I swear, if I, if I was to tell y'all the conversation okay and show y'all the text that this child sent to me it would cut you like a knife it would if you ain't got the armor of God the stuff that she texts me <laughs> would cut you like a knife and, I, and she's too far away. I can't go and hug her and just hold her in my arms like I want to. So I can't do nothing but put her in the hands of the Lord. That's all I can do. Until she ready to let go of that hurt. And, and deal with it. Because she ain't dealing with it. It's going to be like that. And, and normally, when she send me stuff like that, I be in tears. Nerves be bad. The whole night. Mm -mm. Not no more. I have cried my last tear over words. Mm -mm. And I told her, I told her, I said, you, you, you can't hurt me. You can't hurt me with your words no more. Your words don't have no more power over me. No more. No, no, no. And we have to get like that with our children at some point. You know, and like I told her, there is no one out here that's a perfect parent. There is no perfect kid. I don't care what you want to say. It's just not. And like I explained to her, we are all on 
on the job training. Because there ain't no handbook out here on how to be a mom, how to be a dad, how to be a kid. It ain't out here. Because everybody's different. Everybody's circumstances is different. I was I was a mom at I got pregnant at 14. I had her at 15. I was on my way to be an Olympic gymnast. Okay. And it's gone now. So my kids end up having a hard life. Because I wasn't financially or my maturity level wasn't where it was supposed to be. It's chicken, baby. It's not the little, little chicken like we had before. But, mm -mm. not going to do it. <laughs> I made the best out of the situation that I put myself in. That I put myself in. When we understand and we take ownership. But what we did to our lives, then you can go on. But if you're going to sit there and you're going to wallow in it and do all that woe with me, you, you ain't going to be able to get past it. You're just not going to be able to get past it. So, you got to figure out, okay, well, now that wasn't my purpose in life to be a gymnast, okay, because I might have not been able to handle that, that fame and that fortune at that time, because I was a wild girl, I was, not like that, but, you know, I was, I had a rebellious side to me, and had money on top of that. God knew what he was doing. He knew exactly what he was doing. I had my next baby at 19. Um, and then her at 25. Twenty-five. Stay. Let me see. She twenty-five now. My son is thirty-three. So they're eight years apart. So twenty-five. I was. Wasn't on thirty-three, child. Nineteen, and I was twenty-seven. Is that twenty-five? That ain't right either. Maybe. Anyway, it don't matter. Uh, but I know it's a big gap in between them. Y'all have to forgive my memory because I got so much on my brain right now. I've been forgetting stuff left and right lately. Like simple stuff, I forget. 
<laughs> it's bad. I call it grandparents brain. I got grandparents brain because I don't remember nothing. But yeah, guys, I just, and and I owe it all to God on how strong I was able to get through that thing. Y'all know I'm a crybaby. And, and, and the things that she said to me, honey, whew. And I, I'm reading it, and I'm just like, what? 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 But one thing I learned is when someone says how they see, how they feel towards you or towards a situation, you can't say, no, you're not right. You, because then you're not validating their feelings or you're not acknowledging their pain or whatever they going through so I just said okay that's fine if that's the way you see it I lived through it so I know it from a different way neither one of us is wrong it's just all in perception so you know we have to learn how to do that in every circumstance basically really you have to learn how to do it like that otherwise you're going to get nowhere. And what's arguing back and forth going to do? Nothing. Nothing. Ain't nobody's um, message getting through. Nobody's point of view is coming across. So don't argue. Accept what the person say. It's okay if they got it a little twisted. <laughs> it's okay. And just rest assured that God knows exactly what happened. Okay? Because he was there through it all before it even happened to, to, to either party. He already knew what, how it was going to go down. So, don't be so um, amped to be right. No, I'm right. No, I'm right. What's that going to get nothing your just relationship just gonna be tore up from the flow up so don't, don't even waste your time with that find a way to heal it and get through it that's the way I look at it You know, so it is what it is, guys. But my my point to all this is when you keep God first and when you focus on God and you stay faithful to him, he going to have your back in them rough times. He going to have your strength. He going to have the strength you need to get through it. He going to have the words that you need to say to get through to that other person or whatever the case may be. He got you if you let him have you. And that that's the whole thing of it all, you know. So I'm finished cooking. I'm probably going to wrap this up for tonight. So, you guys, stay focused on God always. Stay focused on your goals and your dreams. Don't let nothing get in the way of that. Heal yourself. However you have to do it. If you need to journal it, if you need to go sit down on the couch with somebody, get it out. Because you stunting your growth holding on to it. Stay blessed. Stay uplifted and, and throughout your whole circumstance. Stay uplifted. Stay fancy and stay with us. If you can make anybody happy, do that.
because the world needs more of it. All right, guys, I'm out of here. It's your girl, Gina, and I'll see you in the next video. I love y'all so much, and so does God.